Hello, hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, so today, 19 September, I will show you on how you want to make a stacking graph, which is such as your FTIR graph, XRD, and others by using Origin. This the method is so simple and so easy. So this is uh, how the graph should look like and most paper and that we found usually they are making this type of graph taking all the data in one graph so that we can easily see the difference so this is my data for FTIR and I will show you on how to make this okay let's start Okay, firstly, what you need to, to have is, of course, your data. So, for me, uh, this is all my data, which is uh, starch, sodium phosphate, until, and 0.8% until 45%. So, it's quite a lot. So, what you should have is first, of course, the width number. And this one is the, what we call absorbance. Yeah, the absorbance. And... Of course, you need to have an origin, okay? And this is, I'm using Origin Pro 2018, 64 bit. So, <clears throat> first, need, first thing you need to do is copy all this data that you have. Okay, until 45. Then, Control C. Then, get back to this uh, origin. Then you full screen this, then control V, you paste all this data. <coughs> okay, why this hashtag is shown because this is not full, uh, it can, uh, yeah, like that. Okay, I don't know how to explain that. So, uh, so we have all the data that we want to make it as a graph, copy and paste. So this is the data that we have, which is until 45%. Okay, first, you see this section comment. What you need to do is to label this. So for this, X is the width number. Okay, then this one, this is open for starch. So just did it as a starch. And then, okay, uh, for this one, we just ignore it because we will remove this wave number because all the wave number are same. So we just only need this one, this section only, because it's all same. So we don't need to put all wave number. Okay, then at this section, is for sodium phosphate. Okay. Then this one is absorbent for zero weight percent, and this last forty five percent. Okay, we are done about that. So as I said before, this with number, this section, this section, and I use other sample. We don't want it because we only use one uh, x as is because. Is all, all of this is same, same number, same number. Okay, so firstly, what you need to do is press control. Uh, okay, this space also we just delete, we don't need that space. Okay, control, mean, control, click. Okay, delete only the width number and the space, the, the blank table. Don't delete the absorption, or you will get a wrong data. Okay, a wrong graph. Okay, we don't want you delete. delete. Okay, right click delete. Okay, okay. After we delete all of that, next we need to delete uh, this left space, which is uh, not necessary for this graph. And we are not using it, so 
just need to highlight this okay then right click delete okay now it's look better now we have all this uh, data which is first the with number at x exists and then the all the samples for y exists so um, to make the graph it's so simple first you highlight all this until your last sample then you see this uh, three parallel uh, graph parallel black red and blue one you click on the upside down triangle then you choose the stick lines by y offset then yeah tada so this is the data that we want the graph that we want uh, mostly paper does not show the y exists for this one so what we need to do is first you double click at the number then you see this should be at the left which is uh the y axis then you see this tick box you untick it and then press ok uh, then it will disappear the number for the y axis will disappear and then this uh, you can just press the button delete you don't want it then you see this minor tick and the major ticks for this one we also don't want this ok you go to the line and then you double click then you see this uh, line and text you go to it then you see the line the line just uh, uh, just make it text we just want to remove the major text and minor text okay first the major text you choose none and also the minor text you choose none then press ok ok now then um, for this one, because you see, the graph does not start from 500, so we need to change it, so it, it will start at 500 and the graph will look better. So you just double click at the number. Can okay. now you go to the scale. Okay, you see it's from so from 500, so it should be started from 500 until. 1500 and sometimes uh, people are uh, preferred to start it from the largest one to smallest one so you can change it from 4500 to 500 uh, it is up to you which one do you prefer you want to start it from the biggest one or the lowest one as for me i want to start it from the lowest one so press ok uh, now it's look better and then this one uh, this box you can drag it to inside okay okay and then this this one just change it to wave number then you need first okay okay for some work um some people they don't like to see this is too thin so they are prefer to change it make it more thicker so what you need to do is you go to the line okay you double click at the line first and then you go to the line then this width you can change into 1.5 for me i prefer 1.5 as it looks better yeah yeah so it look nice and then um you can actually you can uh, change the position of this line if uh, let's say you want actually you want to put this green one at the bottom one and you want to change all this position you want to reposition all this graph so you can do it but first you double click again to the line and then you see this group you set it as independent okay then press ok Okay, now you can uh, change it one by one. You can position it. Okay, let's say you want to put this uh, at the top and this one is at the bottom. Uh, it's, it's up to you. Okay, maybe you want to change the position of the graph because it's not as what you want. Okay, 
So let's get it back. I just show the example, but I don't want to reposition it. Okay, <laughs> it's not done yet as for this one. So now uh, this is the last part. So it looks better. Okay, you double click at the line. Okay, then you choose the line and text. Okay, you see this top, this top one. Okay, you you take the box show line and text, but you only show the line, the major text and minor text. We don't want it, so set it as a none. Then you go to the right, you show line and text. Lines we want it to have, and then this one show none. Okay, then press OK. Uh, now the it's look better now. As you can see, uh, it's look better. Okay, so if you want to reset it, this one, you can do it. But as for me, I want to put this box inside the. Post. I want to put the box inside this graph, so just let it be there. So that's how you make stacking graph. Okay. So, how to export? Okay, go to File and then Export Graph, Open Dialog. So, go where you want to save it. Okay, okay, first the name FTIR Graph. graph. Okay, then save it like top. Okay, and then this image type set it as a PNG or JPEG if you prefer JPG go to G JPG but I prefer PNG then press OK okay okay done you can see at the desktop okay so this is the graph that um done so the method is so simple and so easy so that's how you, you 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 make it as a staking graph. Okay, that's all from me for today. Maybe for the next video, I will show you on how to make the staking graph by using Microsoft Excel because some people don't have origin, so they prefer to use Microsoft Excel. So let's see for another video. Okay, thank you guys.